Hey guys, welcome to Lazy Leaks. Le it's hard to say, Lazy Leaks. Um, it's an RPG maker slash kind of horror game that is just released on itch.io and that's where I found it and I was like, sure, I haven't played RPG maker in ages, so did I say JRPG? I might have, but I meant RPG maker. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's just check it out. Movement, knife, 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 knife. Okay, enter, select. Gotcha. July 20th, 1984. Oh, long time ago. Five months after college has ended. Oh, <gasps> kitty. Vicky and Josh, her soon to be fiance, take a trip with their friends Jenna, and then I couldn't read it. Well, welcome to the Lazy Lakes campsite. Huh? It's beautiful, Josh. I've already taken the liberty of putting all your luggage in our tent. Uh-huh. Aw, oh, you're a real sweetheart, Josh, you know that? Quiet's like, what the fuck is mommy doing? Here, let me walk you to where you'll be staying. We'll be staying. Kitty, I know you want to cuddle, but I probably have to control the- Ooh, shush, shush. Oh, shush, Oh, touch my head, mommy. Oh, we're right there, though. So, this first tent is ours. Thanks again for putting all my stuff in here. You really did a great job arranging it. I have dibs on the sleeper to the left, though. You're a lefty. It's my pleasure. I tried to put everything as you like it. Judging by the smell, I take it this is Sam's tent. Wow. Nasty. Hey now, I've known Sam almost all my life. He's almost killed me a few times with those smelly shoes. Just don't- don't tell him I said that. <laughs> okay. Look at that kitty. Well, well, what's that, dark? Oh, I'm the dark, huh? Have you seen your girlfriend? Damn! Slap on the face. Hey now, just because I finished university with straight A's doesn't mean I'm a dork. You mean a nerd? I'm not hating, just saying you were, you've wasted your money, especially in America with how expensive it is. I'm gonna become rich and famous by using my super athletic body. <laughs> you do have a great body. <laughs> that's a nice, uh, a nice opener. Oh, hi, Josh and Dark. Ha, that's what I called her. Anyway, I'm gonna take Vicky for a walk to show her around. See you guys here tonight? No, I'll meet us at, lake, lace, at the Lazy Lake View. We'll be there, most likely taking a dip. Say no more, I'll see you guys a bit later. Sam, you make make sure you start the fire so we know so we can eat when we get back. Yeah, yeah. It's kinda kind of, it's not really a nice way to ask it. Is it? Couldn't he just be like I don't know. Could you maybe or can you maybe do that for us tonight, please? Thank you. It's really pretty here, isn't it? It really is. I'm a little surprised that you planned all of this. Thanks for the great day, Josh. It's been two years with you and you still treat me like a princess. I've liked you since since I've liked you since we first met at Jen's party back at university. You were nerdy but so cute. Oh staff it. Thanks for the compliment though. It's my pleasure. The sun's about to go down. Should we meet up with the others? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Looks like it might rain. <laughs> Quiet's really intensely enjoying this. Is that copyright free? If it is what I, th what I think it is. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know what song it is though. Jenna Sam said they'd be down here, just a little further. Hi guys. Oh hey Josh. Hey Vicky. <laughs> we just finished up swimming in the lake. It was amazing. Please tell me you guys had costumes. Costumes? Some things are best left unsaid. Any swimsuits? Wish I hadn't asked. Anyway, we're heading back up to the campsite now. We'll see you two lovebirds later, okay? Get the fire ready. We'll be there soon. 
I'm starving. Let's go. Well, at least we can now have some peace and quiet. You guys are just went on a walk with the two of you. How is that not peace and quiet? It really is pretty tonight. The lake is mesmerizing to watch. But I just feel so uncomfortable around this camp. Actually, the whole place gives me creeps. Relax, silly. All those rumors about people going missing is just a hoax. Oh ho ho! It's probably been made up by locals to get some publicity for their small part of the world. The war wallard. Yeah, you're right. I think I'm just tired. We should head back. All right, lead the way. Just follow the road, and we'll be back in the camp, banking camp, in no time. It's time to walk, kitty. Why are you so cute? Shh. What? Did you hear that? Hurt nothing. Stop trying to spook me. I swear, Josh, I heard something over there. Let's just get back to camp. Are they gonna be dead? Oh, a little lantern. Can we take that? No. Oh, just walked right over it. Someone wants to be baby, don't they? Here you go. Ooh. Ooh, shush, shush. Yeah. What's that? Oh, it's a chicken. I was like, what? Something's moving. There's something in the grass. Some thing. Oh, tree. Campsite. She's in like a little hammock of my arm. This music is probably not copyrighted, right? Nah. <gasps> Holy shit. That escalated quickly, kitty. Oh, look at this baby. Oh, such a baby. <laughs> you want them belly scratches? Yeah. <laughs> Those paws. I'll just put it down. I gotta focus. Jen, Sam. They did. Very funny, guys. Jen, where are you? Stop playing around. We're gonna find her body. Oh my god. The music is so relaxing for all the blood. Relax, Vicky. It's probably just ketchup. I'm freaking out right now, Josh. Vicky, I'm sure they'll ride the lake swimming again. Dude. Follow the blood. Guys, stop it right now. It's not fun anymore. You've completely freaked me out. I'm going to punch you so hard, Sam. You're such an ass. Josh, something's wrong. I don't think that's ketchup on the floor. Uh, all right, Vicky. Let's find these jokers. What's the plan of action? Split up and find them. Stick together. Search for clues. We're not going to find them if we stick together, Vicky. I'll start looking around. Okay, before I freak out, let me look around for clues. I'm sure they're just playing around with us. Okay. Oof. Can I... Intense smell of iron over there. Definitely blood. Yeah, let's follow it. Looks like the blood trail goes this way. I better find out where it leads. You're gonna come back and your lover's go lover is gonna be dead. Looks like a letter. Josh, come quick! Oh, he's not dead yet. <laughs> what is it, Vicky? It's a letter I found on the floor. It says, I have your friends. We're gonna have some fun. There's so much blood already, dude. They're already dead. Deads. They're dead. We need to find someone with a phone to call the police. Someone's taken Jen and Sam. Let's go, quick. They might be in danger. There's a few campsites not too far from here. We, we should just follow the path path and find help. Okay, so now we can do two things. The road to find help. It's dark this way. Okay, Joshua, we need to find help. The note we found is really creeping me out. We need to help. We need help, but I don't know where the hell to start. Neither do I. This is the first time we've come around these parts of town. Let's go find someone we can talk to. Like the killer? <laughs> Is that something? Is that a branch? Chicken! You scared me. Oh, so far so good. Uh, let's go up. Hello? Anyone here? Please help! Hello? Not sure anyone's here. Maybe up? No? 
Well, should we open the tent? Can we? No. Okay. Left it is. There may be more campsites in this area. I must look around for help before I leave. Okay. So there's something we've missed. Then this site here must not go- Ooh, that axe. Can we grab that? Don't know if it's wise to leave sharp and pointy things like an axe out. Take it. Um, maybe down here? <laughs> Quite just laying here contently. <laughs> okay. So left must be the exit and this leads to other campsites. At least they're sticking together for now. Um, is this something? Well, if it is, they're not saying anything about it. Someone's just left their boat on the riverbank. Now they do. Why would they do that? It's an odd place to leave a boat. Maybe they were in a hurry? Can you open the boat? Not really. What's... Ooh. Bloody oars. It's not saying anything about him. Ah, the smell! That's blood for sure! This is not very fresh. Someone must have really been hurt here a few hours ago. That's still kind of fresh to me. What if it's... Don't worry, Josh. We'll find them. Oh, <gasps> kitty. Is it time to go? Okay. Yeah. There she goes. Okay. Oh, it's only arrow keys to walk. Oh boy, is that blood? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh jeez. It's a dead end. The bridge has been tampered with. We must go back. I remember seeing another path to the left of the camp up ahead. Yes. You don't have to ask me twice. This place gave me the creeps. Nothing here though? Hmm. Guess not. Okay. Then I will go back. What? What is it? Josh, look in front of us. What? Oh my god. Yaboo! Why is it a clown? Who the hell are you and what do you want? Why, I just came to say hello. Stay away from us. I'm looking for two kids. Have you seen them? Our kids. They call each other, uh, yes, Jen and Sam. Haha. <laughs> Where the hell are they? They're, um, taking a nap. If you've harmed them, I swear, I'll kill you. What is your name and why did you come here? I must go now. My art takes time. Toodles! Whoa, what the fuck? He just teleported? Okay. He blinded us. What a cheap trick. Oh, he used like the... The chic things from Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Clunk! And then she's gone. Why are there so many chickens here? I'm asking the important questions, obviously. Let's go back to the path we saw up there. What if we go back, though? We should get out of here, little guy. <laughs> I'm talking to the chicken. <laughs> that's cute. Oh, that's a lot of blood with the axe. There's blood everywhere. I think that bastard we saw earlier dragged someone through here. His axe is covered in blood. Must be the weapon he used on the victim. This trail of blood seems never ending. Are we- wait, 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 wait. Pieces of meat on the floor. What? This is very bad. What the fuck? Oh. She doesn't want to go back. I wanted to check up there. See if there's a path. Like here. Shit. Ah, uh, there isn't. I really thought I would find a secret there for a sec. Those lanterns are cute. They remind me of Japanese lanterns. I hear people, Josh. Quick! I love the piano music. Help! What was that? Hey! Dude! Please help us. He came from nowhere and... Whoa, slow down. Wait, this is another... Oh, to me. Okay. Different dude. Please tell me what happened. There's a killer clown, man! Killer what? 
He stopped us by the broken bridge back west. He's murdered our friends. You think? You guys are joking, right? Killer clown? Yeah, right. How much have you guys been drinking? We're not drunk, we promise you. There's blood everywhere back there. Alright, show me then. Why would we lie? Follow us and see for yourself. Shouldn't we just get the hell out of here? Honestly? Is it gonna be gone? <gasps> what the fuck? How does it work? It was definitely here. Do you see the blood? What the? There was blood all over the place just five minutes ago. How does that work? Are you guys for real? It was right here. We're not lying. This is unbelievable. You guys are wasting my time. There was blood all over, as if someone had been dragged through here. That axe over there is covered in blood. Have you guys been taking drugs? I was having a lovely day with my wife, and now you've ruined my mood. How could this happen, Josh? Are we losing our minds? No, Vicky, it was there. I know it was. I saw it too. Toomey didn't believe us. I mean, why would he? I, why would he, I guess? What do we know? What do we do now? All we can do is find Toomey and apologize. We can't make him believe us, but we can't... We can't make him believe us, but we can't stay out of here. We have to warn the others and find Jen, Jen and Sam. Let's get back to the camp that we saw him at. I wonder if it's gonna be... if he's gonna be dead now. It's weird that the blood's gone, though. How did he do that? Was it here? Yeah. Is he dead? No. He's fine. Hey! Hello, my name's Vicky and this is Josh. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Candace. Do you know where Toomey is? He said he was coming back to this camp a few minutes ago. <gasps> he died a couple years ago. Calling it. Didn't I see him go there with you guys? Oh, maybe not. We tried to show him blood we saw earlier on the road leading here, but it was... gone. How does blood just disappear? Someone must have cleaned it up, I swear. Yeah, in like five minutes, all of that? Anyway, that's not important. Where's my brother to me? We're asking the same thing. Go speak with his wife, Melissa. She might know where he's gone. Uh, well, I did see someone walking up here. How do we explain ourselves to Toomey? I don't know, Vicky. We'll have to try and find a way to explain. No one should be out here alone anyway. Could have walked him back, yeah. I wonder if those symbols are important. Walk gently. I'm afraid of bridges and you're making it swing. Sorry, I'm just nervous. Oh, another bloody boat! Please tell me that's not Toomey's boat. I don't know, Josh. Let's take a closer look. This is definitely his boat. It has his name carved on the side. Toomey's Voyager. Oh my god! Backpack has his name on it too. Well, we don't have time. Maybe he got seriously hurt and needs our help. Let's follow the blood trail. How did none of them scream though? They're so close together. In the cave? Uh, cave? No way I'm going in. Josh, we don't have a choice. If Toomey's in help, in Toomey's in there, he'll need our help. Okay, I'll be right behind you. Is it a house? This is no normal cave. What the fuck? The smell in here is unbearable. How could anyone live here? Josh, are you seeing this? Oh, he's gone. Josh, great. He didn't follow me in. Better go find Toomey. Are you... Shouldn't you just go back out? Oh, she's not going back out anymore. Girl, you're fucked. Maybe she teleported somewhere. Do I check, um... No. My only thing so far is that the music is super relaxing, so I'm not- I don't feel like I'm in any danger. If they had replaced- I hope you're okay to me. This music, which is really nice music. Um, is that a cage? This asshole keeps people caged. I'm feeling sick just looking at it. If they replaced this peaceful music at times like this, these, with more dramatic or horror kind of music. It would have been a lot better. The atmosphere. Because it looks great otherwise. Must be where he sleeps. Who? The clown? Cutlery in here? 
This is a bed. It's all covered in blood. Some light reading. <laughs> What's that thing? What is that? I don't know. Ah, the smell. There's a massive line of blood. I'm scared. Holy shit. Oh my god. To me, speak to me. Why did this asshole murder you? Barely knew you, but this is no way for anyone to go. You should have listened to us when we told you about the blood. You need to get a hold of yourself. I need to tell his sister and his wife that they need to call the police. Wait, you're not gonna... I guess he's too heavy, huh? To... Oh shit, everyone's gonna be dead now. Josh, are you okay? Why aren't you just sitting there? Wait, where is he? Oh, <gasps> he did. Oh my god, no! Why'd you not follow me in? Why'd you leave me like this? What am I do going to do without you? This can't be happening. I need to wake up. It's all just a dream. What kind of messed up dream is this? Josh, please don't leave me like this. Wait, what is this? It's a note with my name on it. Dear Vicky, I'm sure it's safe to say that your beloved Josh is resting well, snug as a bug. Also, please don't mind the hole in his head. I felt a, lobo I felt a lobotomy was needed on, his on this one. He really was as dumb as a brick. <laughs> Holy shit. You know, a few clowns short of a circus. You may ask yourself why. Why am I doing this to you? All will be explained soon enough. This man is a monster. I have no idea why he's doing this. What I do know is that I need to put an end to it. End to it. I love you, Josh. I'll make sure I come back and give you a proper goodbye and burial. Damn. Need to warn the others. Must call the police and catch this bastard. Don't think they're gonna believe you. Just saying. Hey, girl. Are you alright? You look like you've seen a ghost. Melissa, he... What's the matter? Did you find Toomey? I did. Did you get a chance to speak to him? He's dead, Melissa. That's not funny. Wait, weren't you gonna get help? He's been murdered and so was Josh. The killer left this note. I must go find Toomey. Please stay with Candace. Don't go alone. Yeah, you can't go alone. It's how he's murdering Pete. I will not stand here idly. Well, there she goes. Goodbye. Goodbye forever. Are we gonna follow her? Wait, we should talk to her. Vicky, Candace, you must come with me right now. Where's Toomey? Our lives are in danger. Follow me. I'll explain as we move. Okay, cool. I was able to grab her. I bet we're gonna... Can she see this? I love you, Josh. She's not, she's not reacting to that. Come on. Now she's like, oh my god, this is real! And instead of just going here again, we should have just ran out of the park. It was our father's boat. And fucking call the police. Okay, now she's with me at least. So we have to walk all the way back up, probably? I wonder if the clown lives here, though. I feel like the clown is a distraction or something. But maybe it's just that easy. Oh! Oh my god, to me! Do I talk to her? I'm sobbing! I'm so sorry, Melissa. We need to call the police. There's a small town just south of our campsite. We should be able to get reception there, or at least some help. Wait, is she not coming with us? Okay, she just wants to cry here. You're gonna die, girl. We honestly should have just dragged her out of here. Be like, you can't stay here, it's not safe, let's go. And then just drag her. Against her will. Oh, well, can we get out? So far, so good. South. I feel like the creator didn't know how to make sound effects, so he just put nice tracks under it and that was it. I feel like if the if it had a different kind of soundtrack, it wouldn't it would be more it would be scarier. Just south, so maybe here. 
village. Let's see it. It's getting its own music. Anyone there? Please give me the creeps. Let's go. Who's that? Is that a zombie? Hmm. Does that sign say anything? No. Let's go down then, I guess. Let's see if we can talk to this dude. Or a girl. Hey, can you help us? You must leave. Go. Hmm. Not very friendly. Maybe it's like the village. The M. Night Shalama Lama Nomom movie? Like, this is our village. You shouldn't be here. So mean. Dudes, you don't even know me. We need help. Hello? Who? Who this? What are you guys doing here? We, uh... Holy shit, what happened to your face? That's a nice way of asking it, I guess. I'm going to ask again. What are you doing here? Listen, I don't know what the hell's going on, but we've lost two friends of ours earlier today, and I found the body of another man in a cave nearby. <gasps> a cave, you say? Yes, it's just north of here. You should not have gone to that cave. My brother was killed in that cave. Many people around here go missing. That doesn't mean they're dead. Ooh, I found his remains! Taking you away from here. You should not be here. This weekend is a sacred one to our village. What is the secret weekend about? We call it the Blood Moon Festival. This town's very old and many of the people here still keep ancient traditions. Look, we'll leave, but I'm not going anywhere until I find my friends Jen and Sam. And Melissa has gone back to the cave. Time to go. Please just help us find them. Absolutely not. We need to be- Oh, there he is! <gasps> He's just standing around. We need to be somewhere at midnight. I do not have time for your games. I'm not going anywhere. Vicky, yaboo! This will only hurt a bit, I promise. Is this his entire village? Oh, <gasps> not a dragon me off. Is he gonna drown me in the lake? Unknown place. Let me go tell the others we have a delicious new guest. Cannibals. Oh, now I'm him. Are we gonna go in a cave? So it's an evil society, huh? Oh, there they are, our friends. Please let me let me out so I can go I can get Sam to a hospital. He's not going to make it. Oh, he's in bed there? Where Sam is going, he won't need a hospital. Ha ha ha. Please. What's this? Hmm. Oh, I can't go here. Oh, I can go up here. Hey, Marcus. Great catch on that guy that was fishing. I must sincerely compliment you on such a fine catch. The village's hunger will be sated for a few months. I'm looking forward to tomorrow night's meal. Lady in Cages looks delicious. Thanks. He really was the runner, but you did well with that clown costume. You really did. Scare the hell out of them. Ha ha ha. Anyway, I bought I brought that irritating blonde. She's at the boat and I'll need your help carrying her inside. I'll call you when I get back to the boat. Our dinner was excellent. Meat meat so fir our dinner was excellent. Meat so firm and so very well done. Is it finger licking good? That person was cooked super bly. Superbly. <laughs> Superbly. <laughs> Superbly. I read it as super bly. A job well done. Mmm, human meat. Yum, yum, yum. That's cool. I did not expect it to be cannibals. A whole vi village of cannibals. I wonder how he can see though I walk around when he's blind. Or at least he has white eyes, so I assume he's blind. Is she gonna be gone? Yeah! What the hell? She was just here! Should have chopped up her feet, dude. Looking for me, asshole? How are you walking around? I knocked you out good. Yeah, and you won't be so lucky. 
No! Did she have an axe or something? I sincerely hope you never wake up from the bottom of this lake. Oh, she dumped him in there? God, my head hurts. Can't stop now, though. I need to check out that cave and figure out a way out of here. Does she have an ex? I hope so. Wow, this place is huge! Hello. Holy shit! Jen, you're okay. Thank God. Listen, Vicky, these assholes are cannibals. They've been eating people as part of some ancient tradition to their village does. How the hell do we stop them? We can't. They're strong and they have numbers. We need to make a run for it. There's a pair of keys in that box to your right. Grab them and open this gate. Sure. Jen, what about Sam? Sam's not going to make it, Vicky. Even if he did, we have no way to take him out of here. I'm too injured to carry him. Mmm... Fuck. I don't think we're gonna make it out if we're gonna try and take him. Gonna leave him. Let's go. He's only going to slow us down anyway. <sighs> well, fuck. Did you guys hear something? That you, Marcus? Shit, let's go. Yee, run, run, run. Do we go here? <gasps> okay. I think it's a cutscene. Vicky, what now? We're running from murders and cannibals. Cannibals. Uh, we're, we'll just get lost out here. We keep moving. We drove- th Oh, chicken! We drove through a forest like this one to get here. If we find the route, we'll find a way out. I hope you're right. It's getting really dark. Now you're good. Crossroads up ahead. Think quick, Vicky. We have to choose to either go up or straight ahead. Hopefully either one of the paths will get us some help for Sam. Oh, uh, fuck. Uh, up. Hope I don't make a bad choice. Can I save? Oh. I just now realized. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. I'll check the other way if this is a bad ending. Just in time. Look, Jen, a cottage up ahead that looks like someone's inside. Let's go, quick. Uh, there's a really, really good chance. My head. Vicky, are you okay? Stay with me. Really good chance those people are evil. <laughs> Hello, Marcus. Yeah, I got her. You got the blondie that hit me over the head? You gonna come, come collect her? I need to take care of some business with some of the others, but I'll be there when I can. See you soon. Do you think left- Oh, she's just, li she's just walking here. Is she going to be alright? Oh, she doesn't know. Please, you have to help us. We need to call the police. Oh, no need for that. They'll take hours to arrive, but don't worry, I'll keep you safe. Don't worry, dear. I'll make sure your friend is alright. In the meantime, why don't you have a seat? I need to collect something from outside. I like how we play with different characters. Marcus is going to be so proud. What is he collecting, though? Ropes. Okay. It's so dark out, though. I can hardly see. Is that a rope? There they are. Time to get to work. She's awake, though. Vicky, I made you some tea. Are you awake? Good to see you on your feet again. You've been out for almost an entire day. Those guns on the wall. Now here, drink this tea. It will make you feel better. Where am I? And where's Jen? Jen? Oh no, dear. You were all alone outside on my porch. Nobody else was here. No, that can't be. She was with me when we got to your house. You must have really hit your head hard. You're imagining things. Please, must you must sit and just rest. I'll be right back. Better quickly go check outside. Marcus should be here already, damn it. He better be here. I can't keep her here for long. Oh, it's the next day? Why is my nose so itchy? I think there's cat hairs stuck on my nose. Don't need to go this way. Okay. Try stop touching my nose. 
Hey, there he is. Does she know I'm here? The hell took you so long? Can't keep her here much longer. Uh, she's looking for her friends. I'm going to make her pay. I almost died in the lake when she knocked me out and threw me in. Well then, you better hurry. Go grab the rope. I'm going to say hello to my dearest. Alright, I'm on it. Honey, I'm home! Is she gone? No, oh, there she is. Well now, isn't this just a pleasant surprise? How the hell are you still alive, asshole? You think you're pretty smart, huh? I, am I almost drowned, you bitch. Too bad you didn't. Yeah, you're right. Because I'm back and this time it's over. Where is Jen? I swear to God of you. I wish I killed your beloved Josh in front of your eyes. Oh, did I ever mention he was carrying this engagement ring? Oh, fuck. That sucks. What? You didn't know? Looks like he was going to propose to you. Lucky me, I, j I got him just in time. <laughs> Hand me the rope. Yes, Marcus. So where's purple ha haired girl? Wait, is, isn't that her on the right? Ah, so much reading. I have to take a sip. Everyone, if you'd gather around, please. For our newer initiates who might ask why we are doing this, the answer is simple. Back in the 1800s, our forefathers came to this land seeking gold that was rumored to be in this very location. They began excavating in search for gold or any gems that they may find. They might find. After days of digging, they hid a tomb beneath them. When they checked inside, they found a body. It had been buried with gold coin. Quickly took this coin and built a mining town here so they could continue. Later, some members of the community started going missing. Everyone just assumed they had been eaten by wild animals or killed by bandits. After months of searching for their remains, they found this altar on which we stand now. With the bodies of all the members covered in cloth of scriptures, those scriptures were all about our god, Zach. Our forefathers had dug up his resting ground and for that were required to offer him gifts. The souls of those slain upon this altar shall rise as eternal familiars forever in this service. If we do not heed this, we too will go missing. Our families have been keeping this ancient land safe for centuries, so tonight behold the death of our sacrifice. Lord, give us light. Let the blood spill into the lake. Holy shit. Hey, the rain is slowing down. Yes, he has heard our cries. I can't believe it. It stopped. The fog is clearing. Holy shit. Embrace the sunlight. I can't believe it. We've done it. Of course we have. We and we can, now we can continue to run this camp and live prosperously. Oh, she's lying just dead there on the ground. I think that's her. Until next time, of course. Hurrah! Hurrah! To celebrate, we will eat the victims' hearts. Get in your best clothes because tonight we feast. See you all back at the village tonight. Is that the like the bad ending? Wait, what? Honey, what are you doing on the floor like that? Oh, uh, what? Get up off the floor, young lady. You have a visitor outside. Why don't you get dressed? Mom, am I dead? Vicky, of course not, silly. I came to check on you. It sounded as though you were having one hell of a nightmare. I'll leave your room and give you a moment to make yourself decent. Wait, what? She's lying on the floor? A dream? It all felt so real. I don't know what happened. Maybe you're in heaven. I wonder who's here to see me, though. I better go check outside. Well, let's go see. Hey, Vicky. You look beautiful. Josh? Why do you look like you've seen a ghost? I had a terrible dream. You died, I think. I can't quite remember it, though. Well, I'm here, so nothing to worry about. So guess what? What is it, Josh? I planned an awesome weekend away. I've gotten us tickets to go camping. You, me, Jen, and Sam. Oh, where are we going? So this coming weekend is a rare solo phenomenon called the Blood Moon. I found an advert for this campsite in the papers about a place called Lazy Lakes. 
Um, Josh, the place for my nightmare at the same name. Well, apparently it's the best place to view the blood moon. And Vicky, it was just a dream, so don't worry about it. So what do you think? Now that we're done with college, it will be great to just get away from here for a while. Come on, I think it'll be fun. Yeah, okay, Josh. It does sound like fun. Are you serious? Are you serious, girl? I would be like, hell nah. If I had a dream like that, that seemed really real, I would be like, maybe we should not go during... Both Vicky and Josh were reported missing July 24th, 8th by Vicky. Okay, blah. Vicky said they were going camping at a location called Lazy Lakes. Lazy Lakes, that does not exist. The teenagers have both never returned and are presumed dead. Game over. Thank you for being a part of this game and journey. We hope you enjoyed it. I did! It was an okay story. I do wonder, though, if we go left instead of up, if things go differently. No time to go back. I made my choice coming this way. Fuck, did I save just too late? Ah, that sucks. I thought of it just too late and I saved after the point. Well, fuck. Um, this game is not free to play. I think it's three bucks. Um, available on itch.io, so the link's down below. If you do want to go through it and see if your choices matter, uh, if they have different outcomes, then by all means, go check it out. Um, I think this is it for me. I think a half an hour, 40 minute video is perfect for this kind of stuff. Um, I would have liked to see if there was a different outcome, but I also don't feel it's interesting enough to play through 30 minutes again to get to the same point. I feel like I showcased the game well enough and got an interesting ending. Um, it was pretty... it was pretty fun. The sprites are nice. I don't know if they're reused sprites or anything. I think they're original, but I hardly have any um, RPG Maker games under my belt, so I wouldn't really know. But that's it. That was Lazy Lakes. I hope you guys liked it and um, got something nicely lined up for you guys tomorrow. So hope you like that too and see you there. Bye guys. Thank you.